Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue my tutorial videos on quantum statistics. This is video number six in the series, and we're talking about multiplicity rule number two. The previous video was multiplicity rule number one. So, like I said, I'm going to build up these six rules. I think I have six. I'm going to just let me check it out. Rule five. I've broken it down into actually five rules. All right. So I'm going to do five rules, and then I'm going to use all of these five rules to get the multiplicity functions for the distributions for Bose-Einstein, Maxwell, Maxwell, Boltzmann, and Fermi-Dirac, or classical fermion and boson. All right. So now what I want to do is move on from the previous video. In the previous video, we had four distinguishable. They were interacting. And because they were interacting, there was one particle per state. Okay, I'm just trying, like, I don't really need to use this line here, but I want to get you used to the terminology. So we have A, B, C, D, and I said we're going to use the, let's say, the third macro state. This is just to remind you. So we had here, that's, that's S is equal to 3. We had four micro boxes. So g sub 3 was equal to 4, and I put 4 particles into it, so n sub 3 was also equal to 4. Alright? Now, that's just a very quick reminder. But this time, I want to go from a, b, c, d to a, a, c, d. So these are your two times identical. So we went from four distinguishable to now we have three distinguishable, namely we have A, C, and D, but we have two of, of letter A. So we could, we could say we have three species of particle. Now, we know that the maximum multiplicity for four distinguishable particles is equal to 24 because it's equal to n factorial, which is equal to 4 factorial. We know that. But you should have it. You should have it intuitively know, of course, that if we have starting to have identical particles, then we're going to have a smaller multiplicity. So we're going from A B C D to double A C D, double A C D. All right. Now the way to do this is to do the table, which I've done. Once again, if you want to pause the video, you can do that. All right. So as you can see here. I've done out each of the 24 combinations and I've marked off any duplicates. So this remains 9 on this side, 10, 11, 12. So now we have a multiplicity of 12 because we have 12 unique combinations or 12 unique states. So in this state, because let's we'll say we had A, B, C, D, the omega is equal to 24, and here the multiplicity was equal to 12. So we want to work out. Well, what factor was it reduced? Well, we went from 24, to, um, by divided it by some factor, and we got a factor of 12. We got a number of 12, so the factor, of course, is equal to 2. All right? Now, I'm going to suggest that it's actually not equal to 2. It's equal to 2 factorial, of course. 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1 is equal to 2. But as we'll see in a future video, it's actually factorials that we're dividing by. So if you have two, independent, two identical particles, you divide by two factorial. All right? So that's all I've got to say about that. I'm going to move on to rule, rule three now. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And if you're in a good mood, please click an ad.